the Maya had a long count, which was a, a calendar, it was basically base 20. Mayan calendars are always base 20. And that's because you've got 10 fingers and 10 toes. So it's a human based calendar. Right? And so they had, so the long count began, this current long count began in 3116 or 17 BC, I can't remember which. And if you add them all up, then the year 13000, which is the end of that long count, is 2012. And in the Mayan calendar, then a new long count begins. So the Mayans believe that the universe was created in 3100 and whatever it is BC, and will end in 2012 because a new one's going to be created, a new cycle's going to be created. And it's in the same sense that the day ends when the sun is devoured in the east, and then uh, in the west, <laughs> and then <laughs> reappears again <laughs> in the east. The Maya have a calendar which cycles around, and there are many, many, many correspondents on the internet that believe that that's still going to be the case, and they believe that the universe is going to end. In 2012. In 2012. What kind of moron do you have to be to... Now, right, the, see the Maya <laughs> had some elaborate system of calendars that all cycled around and the whole civilization was built on this so I have no quarrel at all with the Maya, I think they had a beautiful civilization. People on the internet today who... The thing is the calendar is based on the number of fingers and toes you've got, right? How can that, how can that have cosmic significance, right? Five, 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 five. How can that have cosmic significance? Right? It just depends entirely on what, how many dexterous protrusions the organism that invented the civilization's got, right? It's so, so in, in, <laughs> to, to, to your opinion of people that think the world will end in 2012 because that's the end of the long, the long count is? Your opinion is? I reckon that, it, that they, they might be statistically right because you've got to be such a <laughs> to believe it that you might have a higher statistical chance of walking in front of a bus. So in that sense they could be statistically correct and it will be to the advantage of all of us because the human race will progress in a more measured way if the people that believe that are statistically removed in 2012.